Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Freedom City 1165 in Surviving Mars Below and Beyond. Well, uh, as you can see, we're at almost 85% atmosphere. At 93%, we can open the domes on the surface. And uh, that's, uh, that's kind, of, uh, kind of the goal here. Uh, once we can open the domes, then uh, we basically won, right? Uh, finishing the terraforming with the water and the vegetation is just busy work, uh, and it will, it, it just takes time and there's not much point in, uh, in doing that on screen. But last episode, uh, got a, a bunch of, uh, exploration in the underground done here. So if I jump out here, we got a whole bunch of stuff around this way and a cross corridor over here. And now, uh, I think... We just about have it fully explored. And uh, once that's done, uh, it really won't be anything worth uh, doing much with. Um, although what I want to do is, can you... Yeah, I'm going to refab these domes. Um, yeah, uh, don't really need them uh, open here. Uh, so I can, uh, I can just uh, take those uh, apart, right? Now... Over here, uh, we've got the uh, rover on the way to uh, scan the anomaly. And, uh, yeah, once we've done that, uh, yeah, okay. So, this is, uh, uh, we have a drone hub and a drone hub and a drone hub. Okay, right, I need to put a power cable in, uh, which is easy enough to do uh-huh yeah so put some power cabling in and problem solved yeah uh, we uh, end up uh, unsplitting the grid and everything should be good yeah okay uh, yeah now these uh, um, Right. Oh, we have a cave-in. Ah, okay. Right, okay. Uh, so that's, uh, that's that. Uh, we have the anomaly analyzed. Oh, we've got to follow the, uh, the track here. Uh, follow the track. Uh-huh. Uh, where's the anomaly? Way over there. Yeah, okay. Well, that can keep doing its thing. Uh, while we get uh, more of this stuff cleared. Uh, that's going to need another light, uh, which can be shoved in right about here. And then we can see what's doing up there. Uh, right. Uh, okay, so this was as far as we could go here. Uh, couldn't get the... Uh, C couldn't put a light up this this uh, path, so there might actually be something out out that way. Uh, right. Okay. So we're we're scanning the anomaly over here, and uh, okay, we'll just check in up here. Low resource food. Um. Okay. So I clearly need to uh, drop in uh, more food production, which. I can do, I can cheese it by dropping in another one or two of these. I can drop one in right here and right, right there. Yeah, because we got the workforce in this dome. We can, uh, we can stick these guys. Wait, that guy doesn't connect to the, uh, let it finish building and then we can refab it. Yeah. Yeah, we still got plenty of power to spare. We got O2 and water, so uh, it's not uh, not a problem. Yeah, refab that. Uh huh. And uh, actually build it in the right place. Uh, you can uh, let's do cows. You know, because we're a cow place, uh, and. Uh, We'll go in here, uh, grab an outside ranch, uh, and stick it uh, just that close. 
and yeah, so that should mean uh, we have plenty of uh, excess food. Yeah, uh, this one can be uh, cows as well. Okay, uh, now we're soaking up another uh, dozen and a half people there. Uh, we, we've got something down here. Cave-ins. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll deal with the cave-ins. Right. I wish there was something you could click to uh, just clear all cave-ins, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so that should get most of that uh, cleared. Anomaly, stay on the trail. Uh, uh, right, and it's over here. Right, okay. Well, uh, yeah, so we've got nothing. Oh, we've got a cave in there that can clear. Uh, but there's nothing really going on over there. Um uh, okay. Uh, yeah, there's not really anything over there. We're 86%-ish for atmosphere. Uh, we're gaining 0.7% per sol. Uh, so that's pretty solid. Um, yeah. Can I get a light up this way at all? It's all uneven terrain. Um, uh, so what can I do? Uh, wonders. No. Can't clear anything. Uh, can we do anything up here? Elevator, scrubber, stations... Yeah, not so much. Okay. Uh, okay, anomaly analyzed. We found the end of the trail. Uh, okay, we'll take the resources. Good. You come over here. Okay. Uh, just need to see what's up this way, uh, if there is anything up that way. Uh, and then... Oh. Uh, I think I can stick a light tripod over here. We might need to do some exploring up this way. Uh, that might just be the end of the path, too. Um, right. Okay. Where's the... Oh, there's the rover coming along. Right? Okay. Now. Going up this way... No. We can get up to here. We can get up to here. We can get up to here where we've got a cave in. And another cave in. But not really anything to see. Okay. Now, can we get a light in here? Uneven terrain. Um, okay, can we, can we, uh, clear it? Not flat. Out of bounds. Um, oh. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. Okay. Uh, can we... Uh, can we clear any of this? Let's do that and see what happens. Okay. Um, right. 
Uh, we're doing something. Uh, question is whether that gets us anything uh, flat or something. Um, oh, no, we're okay. Now, now can we put... Ah, we can put a we can put a light there. Okay, now we can also go in here. Clear, not flat. Ah, that's flat. Okay. Okay. Um, we got extra extractor AI blocking objects. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we can do that. We can do this. Okay. Okay. Do that. Right. Okay, so we got extractor AI. That means that we can uh, run our extractors with no staff. Uh, that's um, That would have been really useful early on, wouldn't it? But it also means we can now uh, extract resources without uh, a dome. Oh, what's this? Uh, our children has become quite strange lately, etc., uh, organizing small eccentric groups, they shun outsiders, etc. Uh, right, quite alarming. We must put an end to this, whether they like it or not. Intriguing, let's sit back and watch the development. Futurist, uh, great subject for research, but the, let the children do as they will. Um, uh, let's do this. Okay. Right. Uh, Okay, so if we pop up here, uh, right, uh huh, and uh, yeah, okay, well, so far so good. Um, what can we uh, do in uh, in orbit here? Uh, we've got uh, the heat thing, and we can do a high speed comm satellite. We can capture meteors. We can't really do much anything else. Okay. Uh, close that. Right. Uh, good. Uh, no. Wait, what was the uh, thing up here? Um, no, nah, we'll just uh, jump down here. Yeah. Um, okay. Now, can I stick a light in here now? Yes. Okay. Now there's nothing more to see that. Ooh. We got um, rubble there. Okay. Uh, but I think there's nothing more to see down that way now. Okay. And there's nothing more to see up that way. And. Uh, right. Let's stick a tripod there. Uh, there's nothing to see up that way. Uh, we've uh, ah, we've almost got everything sorted out up here. Uneven terrain. No, we can just, we can drop that in there. Okay, that should be fine. Yeah, there's nothing to see there. Uh, nothing to see there. Maybe there's something to see up there. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, is there anything to see over this way? No. Uh, everything's good there. Okay. Nothing to see there. 
nothing to see around here. Okay. And nothing to see down around here. No, nothing to see there. Feels like there should be something in here. Feels like there should be. Um, no, nothing there. Um, and we can't get in there. Okay. I think we're good. I think that's everything down here. Okay. Well, that is the underground. So let's just bask in awe at the the underground. Yeah. So up here, is there anything up here? Okay. Um, well, that was interesting. Uh-huh. 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 <clears throat> okay. Another one. Ah, okay. So we've got a couple of... Okay, we can do high-powered jets. And let's research arcology. Okay. Outsource. Do all the outsourcing. Yep. Okay. So we're at 89% uh, Atmo. Uh, so there's that. Let's... Um, Uh, now, something we could do now that we've got autonomous extractors for um, for metals and stuff, we could extract all the metals and stuff down here, right? Um, <laughs> not that we need to. Um, right. Okay. So, Jumbo Cave reinforcements, Jumbo Cave. Right. Okay. What's this? 10% of, yeah. Uh, okay. I think you can realistically just um, bounce back up here. Uh, this will be everything stopped. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. Uh, now, uh, we've got... Uh, Um, do we have any extractors up here? Right, I think I took them apart. Um, yeah, because I uh, didn't need them anymore, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, well, down here we've got the metals ones. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we're we're all full up on our uh, our resources, right? So we don't need to worry too much about much anything here. Yeah. Okay, everything is perfectly self-sustaining then. Uh, yeah. Okay. What's this complaining about? Everything stopped. Low resources. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So let's just. Um, jump in here and uh, see what we've got that we can uh, take back. So we're going to go into edit payload, switch to manual, and we're going to grab exotic minerals, oh, RC vehicles. Yeah, we want to take the RC vehicle back. Uh, yeah, okay. Request. Uh, 
and we'll send back to Mars. Yeah. Yeah. Request. Good. Uh, so we'll send one of those guys back to Mars. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we can bring some uh, materials back up. Uh, we need... Uh, okay, so we come in here, uh, we can land that one, uh, right here will do, right, uh, yeah, uh, don't need to worry about that guy, okay, yay, we've, uh, brought our, uh, rover back, uh, you are a... RC Explorer. It can be automated. You are a Safari. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now here, uh, we're going to go to... It's um, that one. Uh, we're going to go to that one. Visit. Uh, clear. Uh, obviously, we're going to... No, we don't need to take metals. But we need to take this. Yeah, uh, we need to take a stack of these. Um, a stack of these. Yeah, and a stack of these. Yeah, take a bunch of that stuff up. Yeah, it should be all we need there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, request. Okay. So that's going to go up there and uh, get get its, uh, get its stuff going there. And uh, I think this episode will be able to open the domes. Yeah. And we'll be able to call that a win. Because we're at 90% now. And uh, uh, we're, uh, we're gaining 0.6%. So, yeah, that should be fine. Uh, yeah. And off we go. So we'll just pop up here. And... Yeah. Uh-huh. And we can... Uh, drop this... Uh, right about here. Yeah. Bam. Yep. Okay. Uh, drop that down. Yep. Good. Everything springs into action. And on here, uh, we have uh, in here, uh, we're going to switch to manual. And we're going to uh, no, we're going to clear that. Yep. And we're going to uh, just put exotics. Hey, how much waste rock can we... Ah, we can bring waste rock down. Okay. A decent amount of it, too. But we'll bring the... We'll bring these guys down. Uh, okay. Uh, request. Okay. Uh, refueling. Yeah, okay. And here we're refueling. Um... I think I probably should go down here and drop a metals depot or two. Yeah, drop a drop some uh, space to stick metals and probably one more of these. Yeah. Uh, okay. And you. Can just uh, t 
take a full load of everything. And now in here, all of this stuff can empty out. All of the stuff here can be operational. Yeah. Uh, view message. Um, plan visit. Abandon. Yeah. Okay. Don't need more asteroids, right? So let's just go check in over here. Building's not working. And that's all because everything's full. Yeah. Um, right. Okay. Well, I don't need to worry about that too much. We'll just drop back down to Mars. I mean, we've got 445 exotic minerals, right? On the surface. Uh, so we've got plenty for anything that we might want to be doing. So it's just not... It's not uh, important to uh, do anything else, right? Uh, we just about got Mars Nouveau, right? Uh huh. And yeah, so so I think we're doing uh, we we got enough funding to uh, run an entire Mars mission. Uh, yeah, from scratch. Yeah, uh, so we're doing. We're doing about as well as can be expected. Let's just um, check in on um, mission profile. We've done all of those. Okay. Um, nope. Uh, milestones. Uh, first rainfall, breathable atmosphere. Uh, yeah, so we got those. Dig a lake, plant a tree. Uh, yeah, okay, so all of the, uh, the non, uh, uh, um, busy work, uh, achievements, we're, we're gonna hit, uh, we might not hit the thousand colonists, but seriously, we're at 900, so it's not gonna be an issue if I wanted to hit it, uh, it would be trivial, uh, uh, it would be trivial to do. Uh, simply because, uh, well, let's put it this way. Uh, the colony is uh, stable. And yeah, yeah, we're going to hit 93. I'm going to run this episode out till we hit 93% atmosphere, till we can safely open the domes. And uh, yeah. Uh, what are we uh, researching? Hanging guard. Wait, uh, can we capture ice asteroids? That's just meteors. Uh huh. Okay, so let's uh, let's go in here. Uh, planetary projects. Uh huh. Uh, we've got, uh, let's, uh, let's do that one. Yeah. Um, I want to do at least one ice asteroids. Uh, somebody committed suicide. Yeah. I'm not worried about that. We have 906 colonists. Uh, wasn't I just saying we had 900? Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, so, uh, it's nothing to be terribly worried about. And this, um, we've got genius colonists and uh, all sorts of things. Uh, you know, something else I can do, just because, you know, for giggles. Um, you are research labs? Yeah. We'll amplify those. And uh, Martian University... Uh, no, uh, wait, didn't I have, like, a Hawking Institute or something in here? Um, somewhere, research lab, uh,
University. Right. Uh, oh, we've got a uh, asteroid. Uh, abandon. Yeah, okay. And wait, was it... Was it down here? That's an electronics factory. Right. Okay, so if I built one, it would be in here. Okay, got one of those. Ah. Uh-huh. And we'll just uh, activate the work shifts on those. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. It's not like we don't have uh, people to staff them. Uh, our... Are uh, these guys uh, running? That's a diner. Research. Yeah, those ones are. We've completed interplanetary projects. Okay, so let's just go up here. Um, we've got to capture ice asteroids, right? Why don't we do that? Send expedition. Send. Yeah, okay. So we'll, we'll do that. Uh, something else that I, I think I might want to do is, uh, just for giggles, uh, go in here, build another rocket. Right. Um, so what do we need to, to do this? A uh, bunch of fuel, a bunch of machine parts, and we can go and capture ice asteroids. Yeah. Um... Toxic rains, they go away when water gets to a certain level, I think. Uh, the rock. Um, a chunk of rock has been spotted near the planet. Highly unusual. Okay. Actually. Um, five MDS. Okay, we'll get a celebrity then. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Well, okay, we're at 92.2-ish. Yep. And our rocket's going to launch anytime soon for capturing uh, ice asteroids. Or whatever it is. Uh, right. Off it goes. This only takes... Um, What does it take? Uh, you know, like half a sol or something? Um, three sols. Oh. Yeah, okay. It takes a while. Fine. Uh, right. Okay, we've got... Uh, where are we? Yeah, we're... We're just about to the point. I want this to go up to like 94-ish before I uh, I go ahead and I think it's 93 that it has to be. Might be might be a little higher. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, right. 90, 92 and a half. Yep. Uh, let's just uh, check in down here where we've had a Mars quake uh, where we can go ahead and clean stuff up. Okay. Right. Another one. Okay. Cleans those up. Now, um, are we... Uh, we are... Let's look in here. Uh, okay. Waste rock. Current. Minimum on the surface. Can I edit that? No, I have to let it just roll. 
Okay. Isn't this fun, eh? Um, yeah, I'm just going to ramp this up to a uh, decent um, number. And then we can uh, make sure there's always lots up on the surface from all our cleaning things up underground here. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, that seems like it's... Uh, possibly a uh, useful option right um, yeah right okay so uh, I'm just gonna run this up to about 4,000 and that'll keep the elevator busy for a minute yeah. Uh, right. There we go. Apply. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. Now, uh, we should be... Yeah, we should be... Yep, good. Okay. Um... Okay, what's this? Uh, drone transport he heavy. Okay. Up here we have this. Uh, toxic rain is coming. Uh... Yep, we're part way up to uh, capture ice asteroids. Uh, right, this number should be uh, should be going up. Um, yeah, we're consuming more waste rock than we're producing, so uh, on the surface here, so that should slowly clear out the stuff underground. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, ninety-two point eight. Yep. Uh, can we count to 93? I'm pretty sure it's 93% where the... Uh, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, right, we're at 61% temperatures. Uh, right. Uh, let's just look in on, on here. Uh, it doesn't really look it, but Mars, this, this here, uh, globe has changed a bit since, uh, the atmosphere is getting up, uh, and we've got a little bit of a, a you see, you can see the atmosphere, uh, the, the atmospheric glow here. It's kind of cool. Um, close that. Uh, yeah, so that uh, that picture changes as the terraforming progresses. That's a detail that uh, um, uh, that uh, you, you, like so many uh, game producers wouldn't have. Uh, was it ninety five percent you need to, and then you're good to down to ninety three? Is it? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I can't remember. Um, research complete, hanging garden. Jump in here. Uh huh. Right. What's this? Uh huh. What's this? Uh-huh. Right, we'll do that and that. Yeah. Okay. Um, outsource some more. Yeah. Close. Um, 
right. Maybe it's 95% you need, and you're good to 93%. I can't remember. I know it's not 100%. Uh, yeah, so we're up to... Yeah. Uh, so we need another couple saws here, and uh, that should be enough to, to get everything uh, going. Uh, right. Okay. Terraforming atmosphere. No. Uh, terraforming. Uh, no. Uh, back. Um, uh, right. Uh, maybe you need some amount of water, but I was pretty sure you didn't. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, that doesn't... Uh, right. No, no, that I, you know, looking at things multiple times is not going to, you know, reveal things that weren't there before. Uh, right. Uh, so that's, uh, that's a thing. Uh, although it is kind of cool to, uh, hang out here and, uh, look at the sky. We've got uh, a toxic rain going on, obviously. It's not good for plants, right? Uh, but I'm pretty sure that doesn't prevent uh, opening domes. I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, I could be wrong. Uh, okay. Nope. Let's do the easy way here. Do this, do this, no. Okay, wait. Uh, right, fine. Um, now these guys. Uh, children of Tomorrow, the Advent. Uh, Martian-born children, we observed, uh, etc. Uh, Martian-born will per periodically gain 30 comfort. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, that's a fun event. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, the toxic rain is just about done. Right. Uh, capture ice asteroids is... Uh, Three, three quarters done, right? I could stick another carbonate processor up, but I don't think I need one. Yeah, actually, I, th I think, now that I think about it, it's 95% that's needed for the opening the domes. But it's 93% where you have to close them or something like that. Yeah, I think it's something like that. Anyway, we're going to hit 94% here. And then I think another sol, two sols, I think, is probably what we need here. Uh, we'll just we'll just run it through that, and um, right, research, planetary projects. Okay, yeah, that is uh, coming coming along. Yeah, okay, right. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're getting 0.6% per sol, so uh, we need uh, another sol and a half or so for this to uh, to complete. Um, also, I just want the uh, the ice um, asteroids 
uh, mission to complete. Um, yeah. But let's just um, observe the colony from over here. Yeah, yeah, we'll just observe it from over here and uh, just uh, watch all of the activity happening. Uh, no, I think we'll observe it from a little closer. Right. Yeah, we'll observe it from about here. Um... Right. And if we back up a bit, okay. We can see a whole bunch of stuff. 94.4%. So end of the end of Sol 587, I think. Uh, it would be uh, about when the uh, domes can open, if I've got my uh, numbers right. Uh, I know it lists it somewhere, but I can never find it when I want to look it up. Unless it's on here. Ah, yes, it is on here. Um, uh, okay. Breathable atmosphere is 95. Okay, right. Uh, 95%. Okay. Good. And... Wait. No more toxic rains. Uh, okay. And... Okay. So... What was it? Uh, toxic rains and 5% water. Okay. Okay. So we've ended toxic rains. That's good. Uh, it was worth doing that particular uh, uh, mission uh, for the ice asteroids. Uh, and yeah, we'll be able to open the domes and then basically call it a call it a game here. Just, uh, you know, it's a Christmas present, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, unless I can find another game that uh, seems interesting, I'm going to leave this time slot open uh, after this uh, episode, at least for a little while. Uh, drop back to just the other two games I'm doing, which are currently uh, uh, Soviet Republic and Transport Fever 2. Uh, yeah. Um, I just... Uh, you know, I, I, I want to uh, see if, if there's something else... I want to do some some looking around first. Uh, yeah, uh, ninety four point nine. Yep. Okay. Now we get to ninety five percent. Right. We've completed a research. And, oh, there's the artificial sun over there in the background. Aha! Breathable atmosphere. Uh, pause. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. Now, uh, we are now able to open domes. If uh, open the domes no longer require O2, it will become cheaper to build. However, we are ready to seal them up again. Open domes. Wee! The domes is open! Yay! Yep. Okay, let's just get rid of this guy. Abandon. Yes. Okay close uh right there we go open domes yep and now we have 67 spare o2 uh <laughs> right 
Okay, so there we go. Uh, that's the domes are open. Uh, let's land the rocket. Okay, just uh, because. And uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, by any uh, measure of uh, of the game that's set success because because uh, uh, you know you just uh, repeat these right. You just uh, keep doing that, and you end up with 100% water. Uh, you go up to... Uh, um, uh, seed vegetation when it turns up, and do that, right? Um, and it's just... Uh, it probably takes another hour or two of gameplay to... Uh, run through all the projects there's a lot of waiting and uh and that's uh that's really quite enough for uh, uh you know you can imagine how that goes it's just just a bunch of uh busy waiting right uh and uh yep yeah, we're at uh yeah uh the temperature will just keep going up with the ghgs it never goes down so once all of the uh uh, once the temperature hits 100%, you just uh, get rid of your GHD uh, factories. And uh, uh, once uh, the water's on 100%, you don't need to do anything there. Once vegetation is 100%, you know, it looks nice. Once the vegetation expands through the colony and everything, it looks really nice. But, you know, it's not that terribly exciting to get there, right? So... Uh, I could run for the other milestones, all of that, but it's it's not really worth it. Uh, you know, you, you can uh, run run it through yourself, right? Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to call it the end of the series here. Uh, that that's just, you know, it, it's uh, basically uh, it would take effort to lose at this point. Uh, that that's really the situation here. So this is in fact. The end of Freedom City 1165. Uh, it was a bit of a rocky ride for a couple bits there. But, hey, we made it. Our colony has survived. And, yep, we're, uh, we're good. Now, as I said, I'm going to leave this time slot open at least for the next week or two. Uh, unless I get a really good idea for a, for a game to do. Uh, any ideas, you can leave a comment. Uh, but I don't think there's any reason to do another Surviving Mars. Uh, at least uh, not unless they do a major release that actually uh, has useful new content or something like that. Or a sequel. Because uh, this is basically the game. Uh, you've, I've done the underground, done the asteroids properly. Yeah, so we're basically good. Uh, anyway... Uh, on the way out the door here, uh, just before I shut the, the lights off, uh, I'll mention that if for some bizarre reason you want to support the channel, there should be a link to Patreon in the description. Uh, if that uh, isn't something you want to do, well, then you can ignore the link in the description. You know, it's you know, perfectly fine. And uh, I guess uh, I'll s maybe see you here for uh, some other game in the future. Uh, so, that's all, folks.